Good morning to all of you beautiful people, or maybe it's afternoon, evening, maybe this is a different day that you're watching this. Welcome to the channel. I'm Dave. This is not the JDH Reptiles snake room, um, but I wanted to start this video off with a little story, and then we'll jump right into it. As you see from the title, we're pulling eggs today. Um, I'm currently driving to work. I've already done the video, but I made a mistake. I tried to fix it in the video. Anyways, I'm gonna give you the story. So, for those of you who are following us on Facebook, Instagram, etc., you're on our Patreon, whatever it is, here is the story of this clutch. So last year, we bred an Orange Dream Pinstripe uh, Yellow Belly to our cinnamon butter and we got I think seven eight eggs something like that six seven eight eggs all of them went bad except for one this one egg came out and it is this stunning cinnamon butter hypo I put a picture up so with that being said we thought to ourselves, well, hell, neither one of these animals are head for hypo that we know of. However, that's pretty damn cool because what that tells me, if that's the case, is the mother is a cinnamon lesser head hypo and the father is an orange dream pinstripe yellow belly head hypo. Now, the male's no longer with us. Um, the unfortunate part, I'll warn you now, do not sell any of your animals until the eggs have come out because we would not have sold him had we known he was het hypo. So with that being said, we had held back a half dozen animals over the last two years from this male. And obviously we've held a couple back from this female. So that means all of these animals are pos het for hypo. So the male that sired today's clutch is the offspring of the male who sired last year's little girl with this dam. So this male, as you'll see in the video, is an orange dream, yellow belly, calico, pinstripe, pos hat hypo. So obviously what we're hoping here is not only for OD, pinstripe, yellow belly, calico, cinnamon, butter combos, but we're gonna prove him out this year and find out that he also has had a hypo and hopefully we're gonna make some hypo offspring with this sweet ass Perry. With that said, let's hit the video. Hey guys, what's going on? Dave here from JDH Reptiles. Uh, today we are pulling clutch number seven. Uh, this here is a lithium het hypo and she was bred to one of her offspring which is an orange dream yellow belly pinstripe calico also pos het hypo uh, so we're going to pull this clutch of eggs she's always nasty so we'll see how she is today um, i've already got a tub set up for her so what i'm going to do is i'm going to get her off the eggs and take her right over to her new tub um, i'll clean her up afterwards and then we'll do some work here with the eggs so let's jump into the intro when you come back we're going to get her out of this situation Welcome back. As you can see, this beautiful lithium, which is a cinnamon butter, is sitting on top of a nice group of eggs. Um, like I said, she's always on fire, so it's possible that I may get bit here. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to get her off the eggs safely, put her into her new tub, and then we're going to collect the eggs. I'll also show you the male that produced this clutch, and um, let's just go ahead and jump right into it. All right, good girl. Good girl. Nice clutch. There we go. Nice and hollow. She's good to go. So 
So we're gonna go ahead and put her over here. All right, so we got a nice solid clutch here. This is awesome, this is really funny because as most of you guys know if you've been paying attention, uh, we've had out of the six clutches so far, this will be clutch seven, now the first six we had uh, four that were seven eggers, one six egg and one 11 egg, and here we go, another seven egg clutch. So this is just, this is awesome. Bunch of seven egg clutches, I'll take them all day long. Just gonna separate these eggs. We're gonna weigh this clutch really quick. We got seven eggs at 642 grams. So this tub will get uh, disinfected and set up for the next girl. All right guys, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna collect these eggs, get them off the scale here, get them in the egg box. I'm gonna obviously candle those real quick to make sure the embryos are right side up. Then we're gonna get them in the incubator and get them to start their cooking. Um, but what I did wanna do is I wanna show you the male who has produced this clutch here. Uh, and give you an idea of where our, our thoughts are going with this. Alright, so here is the male uh, for this clutch. Now, I did say something wrong earlier, that was my mistake, and that is this male right here, this boy, let me get closer, get out of the light so I can show them to you. So this actually was not her offspring, the, the, the dam of this clutch. Uh, this actually is a hatchling from the male that produced her last clutch. And my reason for putting this male with her is because that lithium I just pulled is het for hypo, which we did not know. And the male that produced this boy is obviously het for hypo because his last year with us uh, was with that female and we produced a hypolithium. So what I'm hoping here, if you can keep up with what I'm trying to say, what I'm hoping is this guy here is gonna be het for hypo and the two of them together will produce hypo offspring. So we got cinnamon and butter on her side and look at this, this is that beautiful high white calico we work. So this is the one that actually came from our high white calico female. Uh, this is an orange dream, pinstripe, calico, yellow belly. So four beautiful genes, again, possibly het for hypo, and then the lithium, the cinnamon butter, and the het hypo. Man, if we can make some really cool high white, uh, you know, cinnamon or OD cinnamon and hypos on top of that, that would be amazing. All right, guys, so I got all the eggs in the egg box. Uh, from here, I'm gonna go in the incubator. 55 days later, uh, we're gonna get these out. We're gonna cut them and see what we've got. Um, we do have another one. It's actually, it's funny. The other girl who's due was actually due today. This clutch is actually due in two days. So this girl went early. She went 28 days. And we'll see if this other large, very large girl uh, is going to go either today or sometime this week for the weekend. Uh, of course, once that is laid, I'll bring you guys back. We'll have another egg uh, you know, egg pulling video, and we'll go from there. So thanks, guys. I appreciate your time. Thank you for spending your time with me. Uh, make sure to come back to the channel to watch some egg cutting videos, uh, see updates on clutches, and uh, a lot more egg pulling videos to come. Thanks again, have a fantastic rest of your day. Enjoy your Friday, and uh, we'll see you in the next video.